انت وانا كتير اذينا من الماضي بعد الفراغ يلي فينا محل وفاضي حبيني وحاجة خافي حط حلمك عكتافي وخلي الجروح تفرجينا عرض اكتافا يلعن الماضي ويلعن سنين السوداء سعادة قلبك وحياتك أنا قدا جاي لأخد أنا من وقتك كم سنين هيدي اللحظة لا تخلص بينا الدنيا يلعن الماضي ويلعن سنين السوداء سعادة قلبك وحياتك أنا قدا جاي لأخد أنا من وقتك كم سنين من هيدي اللحظة لا تخلص بينا الدنيا Today I will be reading uh, some famous atheists' last words before they died, before death. Now, this should not restrict to uh, atheists only, but anybody who doesn't believe that Jesus is the Messiah that's prophesied uh, in the Old Testament and confirmed in the New Testament, because there's only one God. You can't have three, four, five gods. There's only one truth. Anyway, that's for another topic. Um, and a guy in the name of uh, Caesar Borgia, or Borgia, an Italian nobleman, politician and cardinal. He says, while I lived, I provided for everything but death. Now I must die, and I am unprepared to die. Thomas Hobbes, political philosopher, he said on his deathbed, I say again, if I had the whole world at my disposal, I would give it to live one more day. I'm about to take a leap into the dark. Thomas Paine, a leading atheistic writer in American colonies, says or said, stay with me for God's sake. He's an atheist. Now he believes in God, I guess. I cannot bear to be left alone. Oh, Lord, help me. Oh, God, what have I done to suffer so much? What will become of me hereafter? I would give worlds if I had them. That the age of reason had never been published. Oh, Lord, help me. Christ, help me. No, no. Don't leave. Stay with me. Send even a child to stay with me, for I am on the edge of hell here alone. If ever the devil had an agent, I have been that one. Sir Thomas Scott, Chancellor of England. He said, until this moment, I thought there was neither a God nor a hell. Now I know and feel that there are both, and I am doomed to perdition by the just judgment of the Almighty. Wow. If he could only say set up these words a few months before he died. See, that's what happens on your deathbed. I've heard of many stories where some smart men say, I'll wait till I... When I die, then I can confess. And well, this doesn't work that way. That's not a real repentance. Voltaire, famous anti-Christian atheist. I have swallowed nothing but smoke. I have intoxicated myself with the incense that turned my head. I am abandoned by God and man. He said to his physician, Dr. Fortune, I will give you half of what I'm worth if you give me six months of life. 
when he was told this was not possible, he said, then I should die and go to hell. His nurse said, for all the money in Europe, I wouldn't want to see another unbeliever die. All night long, he cried for forgiveness. Uh, six, uh, Robert Ingersoll, American writer and orator, orator during the golden age of free thought. He said, Oh God, if there be a God, save my soul. If I have a soul. Some say it was said this way, Oh God, if there be a God, save my soul. If I have a soul from hell, if there be a hell. David Hume, atheist philosopher, famous for his philosophy and skepticism of religion. He was a skeptic. He cried loud on his deathbed and said, I am in flames. It is said his desperation was a horrible scene. Napoleon Bonaparte, French emperor who brought death to millions to satisfy his power, mad ambition for world conquest. And he said, I die before my time and my body will be given back to earth. Such is the fate of him who has been called the great Napoleon. Uh, what an abyss between my deep misery and the eternal kingdom of Christ. Okay, let me shut down this, if I can see it. All right, sorry about that. Sir Francis Newport, head of an English atheist club. To those gathered around his deathbed, you need not to tell me there is no God. For I know there is one. He's, he's the head of the atheist club on his deathbed. And that I am his in his presence. You need not to tell me there is no hell. I feel myself already slipping. Wretches, seize your idle talk about there being hope for me. I know I am lost forever. Oh, that fire. Oh, that insufferable pangs of hell. Oh, that I could lie for a thousand years upon the fire that is never quenched. To the purchase the favor of God and be united to him again. But it is a fruitless wish. Millions and millions of years will bring me no nearer the end of my torments than one poor hour. Oh, eternity, eternity, forever and ever. Oh, the insufferable pangs of hell. Charles uh, the Ninth, I believe, the French king, urged on by his mother, he gave the order for the massacre of the French in which 15,000 souls were slaughtered in Paris alone and 10,000 in other section of France for no other reason than they loved Christ. So he was a killer of Christians, a murderer. The guilty, the guilty king suffered miserably for years after that event. He finally died, bathed in blood bursting from his veins. To his physicians, he said in his last hours, asleep or awake, I see the mangled forms of the Huguenots, the Huguenots, that's the people he killed, passing before me. They drop with, they drop with blood. They point at their open wounds. Oh, that I had spared at least a little, that little infant at the bosom. What blood? I know not where I am. How will all this end? What shall I do? I am lost forever, I know. Oh, I have done wrong. David Strauss is a leading representative of German rationalism after spending a lifetime crashing belief, sorry, erasing belief in God in, in the minds of others. And he said, my philosophy leaves me utterly forlorn. I feel like one caught 
in the merciless jaws of an automatic machine, not knowing at what time one of its great hammers may crush me. And the famous Joseph Stalin, Soviet Georgian revolutionary and politician, in a Newsweek interview with Feltner Stalin, the daughter of Joseph Stalin, um, she told of her father's death. My father died a difficult and terrible death. God grants an easy death only to the just. At what seemed the very last moment, he suddenly opened his eyes and cast a glance over everyone in the room. It was a terrible glance. Insane or perhaps angry, his left hand was raised and though he were pointing to something above and bringing down the curse on us all, the gesture was full of menace. The next moment, he was dead. Anton Levy, author of the Satanic Bible and high priest of religion dedicated to the worship of Satan. One of his famous quotes was, There is a beast in man that needs to be exercised, not exercised. His dying words were, Oh my, oh my, what have I done? There is something very wrong. There is something very wrong. Gandhi, at his death, he said, for the first time in 50 years, I find myself in the slough of despond. All about me is darkness. I'm praying for light. Hmm? Beloved, compare these last words from atheist with the last words from the saint of God, King David. Yet though I walk, through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not uh, fear no evil. The Apostle Paul said, O death, where is thy sting? Um, lastly, Jesus Christ said, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. In Luke 23, 47, to the thief that repented. He said, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Only fools never learn from history, and it's amazing that even in our days, with all the evidence right before their eyes, someone can devote their entire life to the delusion that there is no God. No wonder the Bible says only fools say in their hearts there is no God. Psalm 14, 1. Now, a couple of last words. This is not only for atheists and people with other religion, I, I, religions, as you saw Gandhi. And, uh, this is also for those who claim that they are Christians, but their fruit doesn't reflect so. What I'm saying is, you cannot worship God and mammon. You cannot worship God and worship the world. You cannot worship God and be so materialistic and love yourself and put yourself ahead of everybody. You have to put God between your eyes because it's all about him, the creator. Don't fool yourself. There is a still a chance to repent. Just do the math. What's left of your life? It would make zero sense that you don't serve this God, this true God and be with him for eternity. Don't fool yourself. Are you living for God or are you living for yourself? Do you care about the world, the cars, the mansions, the success? It's all going away. You, you, you heard the famous quotes by these people. They were very successful, very well-known people, conquerors in many sense. Need I say more? Thank you.